so I just want to tell you guys my thoughts on this whole B. Howard, Michael Jackson, son thing. And um, I don't know. It, it, they do have similarities. It's there. I mean, um, I've heard that um, he is his son. And then I have heard that he is not his son. And I have heard that the DNA testing that he was supposedly supposed to be doing was fake. So, I mean, I don't know at the end of the day. I'm not going to act like I do know because I don't know. But my thought on it is that B. Howard is probably not his son. Um, it could be a possibility. I don't know. I honestly do not know. Because they do share similarities. Now, you got to look at the way B. Howard talks. The way B. Howard, I wouldn't necessarily say sing, but the way he kind of moves and his face. Like, it kind of matches up to almost similarity to Michael's face. And um, the way he talks is so soft that soft-spoken voice just like Michael and I just think that's a coincidence I recently saw some um, interviews that he did online and it's crazy because the, he did the same gestures as Michael that he did the same like hand movements and stuff that Michael has done in the past in his interviews so I, think, I just think that's pretty weird and um the supposedly DNA testing that they did, they, you know, say it was fake. TMZ said it was fake. It will say it was fake. I mean, I do not know. Um, you know, I mean, he, Mike put in his will that he didn't have any other kids. So for this to be like true, kind of, I just, think is weird because if he did have other kids he would have put in his will hey I have this other kid I want to leave this certain amount of money to the side for this kid I just never told anyone about it okay fine but you know he did not put it he said he only has three kids which is Prince Jackson Paris Jackson and Blanket Jackson and um he I mean as far as anybody else know you know, even Mick, Mickey Howard, Mick Howard, she said she, that, that is not Brandon's father, and, um, she doesn't know what people's talking about. I mean, the truth will come out sooner or later, if it is or if it's not, you know, but just right now, everybody needs to just calm down about it, because everybody's making a big deal out of nothing. Um, you need to just let the family handle it, pretty much, and let them deal with that and not so much try to jump on and say, well, this is, he claims to be his, the father, or no, that B. Howard claims to be the son, and, you know, stuff like that. I, I just think it's crazy. It's five years after Michael's death. People just need to let him rest, let him be, and they just need to just stop with all the, you know, assumptions, and another thing, the thing where they say he's alive, I think he's pretty much dead. I don't think he's alive at all. I mean, I can kind of see how people thought he was alive, you know, but I think everyone should just kind of back off, let him rest in peace, because it's kind of sad at the end of the day um, that people just won't give him, you know, and the family a peace of mind, because they always would have barred them with all this things with all these things that's going on and um Michael was a very loving caring humble person and I don't think he would ever you know want to um lie to everyone about having a imagism whatever it's called a child a secret love child with someone and um you know, it's crazy that in the DNA testing papers, it actually read that um, uh, um, Mickey Howard uh, was, her name was Billy, And that's how they came up with the song Billie Jean. But then again, I got this other story, but that there's this, this woman, I forgot the woman's name, but you have to look it up. Um, there's a woman named 
I think it was like Levon, Lee, Lee, it started with L or something like that. I don't know. But she is a psychopath and she's been sending stuff to Michael saying, hey, you need to pay for my wedding dress, you need to do this, you need to do that. And Michael's like, what? Like, I don't even know what you're talking about. We have never met you. We have never met. And she claimed to have two kids by him, which is not true. So, you know, he just kind of uh, got a restraining order against her, and she had to serve in prison for violation of that restraining order. So that's another thing. People saying that Billy is Mickey Howard is not true. Um, this so-called how he came out with the song Billie Jean was was based on the psychopathic stalker he had in 1990, I think 92, no, 1982, 1982 or something like that. So, yeah, people just need to um, let him rest, leave him alone, and um, you can't change the world unless we change ourselves. So, yeah, everybody just needs to change the way how they how they act and just be their self and leave Michael Jackson alone. <laughs> Let him rest. Okay.